Hey, one of the most common questions I get lately is, how much do you charge to photograph a concert? And I see a lot of people out there, they go, oh, I charge $100, I charge $200, $250, and they just give a general ballpark and a, and a flat rate for that quote for what they charge. And uh, when that happens, sometimes what they may be doing is uh, not realizing what all total expenditures that they have, uh, what all is involved and what the total cost of uh, shooting a concert really is. So in this video, I'm going to go over uh, a bunch of the things that you might need to consider. And uh, so stay tuned. Okay, the overhead for shooting a concert and music photography is can be very enormous. Uh, the good news is a lot of it uh, is tax deductible. Or, or can be if you do a few things. In 1983, my business partner Steve Ellington and I went into business uh, with, and registered with the county of Dallas, Texas and the state of Texas and created Southwest Graphic Arts. So we went down and filled out all the paperwork to actually form a company. Uh, we we're two young photographers. We had no earthly idea what we were going to do and uh, what it all meant. And basically, we were winging it with the basic skill, uh, business skills that we had at the time. We learned a lot, and we also made a lot of mistakes. One of the things, we had no earthly clue what we were doing, and we had to learn marketing, sales, um, business practices, accounting, that kind of stuff in a, in a big-time hurry. And uh, when you have on your mind all I want to do is photograph concerts or, or things like that. I want to be a photographer. Sometimes it's a little difficult. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the things you need to consider whenever you um, go to charge for uh, doing any music photography or any concert photography work. Uh, there's a lot of things that you need to consider that you probably don't realize are, are there. Uh, the cost that you may not consider as one, studio or office rent. <clears throat> you got to have a place to store your, uh, your files, you got your computer, you got a place to uh, do your email, you got to have internet, you've got to have um, a place that you can do your work, you write, write all your stuff, figure out what you're going to do, do your planning. And uh, there's a cost to that. So you need to consider that when you uh, charge somebody that you're making enough money to pay for at least part of that. In that studio, you have studio services, which is um, electricity, water, internet, telephones, uh, anything like that that you may need to use to do anything from research to editing to um, sending emails and doing general business. Uh, it's a big, big thing that you have to do that a lot of people just flat don't consider. If you're wondering where I'm getting some of this information, there are several calculators out on the internet that help you price your, your photography work. Um, the Professional Photographers of America have a calculator that's out on their site. Uh, some of this stuff um, you can get from them. They have business courses and things like that that you can take. Um, they are primarily, a lot of them are, are the stuff that you see out there is geared around wedding photography, but uh, can be used for just about any form of business photography with a little modification. So how do you get people to know that they need to hire you or want to hire you or something of, of that nature? Um, you have to advertise. And the thing you might not consider, advertising, these little deals cost uh, about $10, $12 a thousand. So you got to have business cards that you can take with you so you can hand them out and give them to people. Um, business cards, you've got to have, I have a business cell phone, so people know how to get a hold of me, 
and um, they can contact me fairly easy. I have a website that costs money. So you not only have to have all that kind of stuff, you have to build into your fees that you're charging something uh, that covers that kind of expenditure. Other things, uh, other things as far as advertising, you might consider. We have t-shirts that we make up. We have the equipment here at Southwest Graphic Arts that prints the t-shirts. We buy the t-shirts in bulk. And um, typically what we'll do is when we go to the bank, the grocery store, the, the malls, do shopping, go out to dinner. Um, when the weekend comes, I wear my, my shirt that advertises my company and what I do. And... Um, that's a form of advertising. The, the shirts are fairly inexpensive. You can get the shirts for under $3, but to have the stuff put on the back, we do that ourselves. Uh, we have a machine that, that cuts out the, the heat transfer, and we have the, the ironing press that presses it on, and we can make it up to whatever we want to do. We do everything from koozies to uh, shopping bags to T-shirts um, to coffee cups. Uh, all that kind of stuff that we set up for our own advertising. Something you need to also consider is how are people going to see my portfolio? Well, I still carry one of these little joys, but believe it or not, people can't see it unless they're right there in front of me. So it is handy for that. But most of the time, your portfolio is, is handled uh, by a website. The website costs you money. Uh, we have three or four domains, and for a certain period of time, we spend about $350 to $360 on those domains. Uh, there is a monthly charge. One of the advantages to that is we get an unlimited amount of email addresses. So... Uh, my email address is robert at robertcmaxfield.com as opposed to robert at robert37891242 whatever at gmail. Uh, so I've got a more professional type of um, email address. One of the things it also does is um, we have to consider is the website creation. We use WordPress, which is free, but you can also use uh, various uh, internal components that attach to WordPress and those cost you money. Uh, you, you probably want to, you can do it for free. There are free websites, but let me tell you, the free websites that you get, there's a reason they're free. So you want to probably stay away from those. Um, other things, that's, that can go into your internet services, but give you an idea, our internet uh, cost us uh, we have high-speed internet because we do a lot of uploading and, and downloading. We do a lot of research. And um, we do, actually, what we'll do is we'll watch a video of some of the artists that we're interested in before we, we actually go uh, approach them. And uh, that costs $100 a month. So um, we have to build that into the cost of doing business. But you also have to build into the cost of doing business um, software. We use Photoshop. Lightroom, uh, Camera Raw. We use the whole Adobe, a lot of the whole Adobe Suite. Well, the, the Adobe Suite costs you, what, 10, 15 bucks a month? Got to build that into it. So uh, we're lucky that uh, ours is, is, is comp to us, but in, in a lot of cases, most people it's not. So you've got to put that into um, perspective. One of the other things you have to consider is Office uh, supplies. Well, that portfolio is about 25 bucks. So that costs money. Now, what I do with this is when I go to certain shows, I'll, uh, Julie will take this with her. And uh, if we're talking artists and they want to see some of the work that we're doing without having to go to Instagram or, or the website on their cell phone, they can actually look at look at the photographs that we have inside the book. And, and that actually um, 
helps quite a bit because you know we've had people determine that they want us to do some uh, the photograph them just by looking at that. You have to have printer paper. This is photographic printer paper. So this is um, somewhere around twenty bucks for um, yeah. What is it? Uh, twenty bucks for fifty sheets. Got to have that. Uh, you've got to have notebooks, pencils, pens, um, business cards, um, storage cabinets. You've got to have uh, equipment like like this printer, so that we're able to print out things to go on the wall. Things that we can show people. Got to have something like that. You've got to have computers. You've got to have storage devices. Guess what? You got to have all that stuff. So, anyway, I hope that worked. <laughs> Anyway, you got to have all that stuff. You got to have places to store your um, store your photos. Once you get them done, you've got to have things that will read them. Um, get that all taken care of. Okay, another concern that you need to have today is insurance. Uh, a lot of venues and uh, people you may work for are requiring um, um, a COI certificate of insurance. You may want to have uh, anti-theft insurance or anti-damage insurance. You're going to have uh, banking that you need to do. You need to have someone do your taxes, accountants, professional fees. If you want to join the Professional Photographers of America, you've got to be able to put out the money, um, what is it, something like $450 a year. And they take two to get the, the, the uh, uh, all the insurances. And uh, they take two installment payments for that. Uh, you've got to have the wages to pay not only yourself, but your staff. So if you have anybody that works with you, um, assistants, that kind of thing, you've got to have them uh, do that. Oh, I forgot in, in the office supplies and the printer. Printer ink. May sound simple. May sound, take it for granted. Printer ink for that printer runs $125. So... You've got to have that. Um, you figure up the hourly billable rate that you want to charge for your own labor or for the la in the labor of the people working with you. And um, oh, and did I? I forgot to mention you've got to have money to buy this sort of thing, and the lenses, and the memory cards, and all that kind of stuff. So guess what? You need to build that into what you charge that hundred dollars a hundred two hundred fifty dollars or whatever you you kind of blurted out without really thinking um, some other things that you probably need to consider is if you have to travel gasoline um, let's face it gasoline is not the same everywhere. I hear in California it's six dollars a gallon. Here it's two seventy-five a gallon. Okay, so the price for what I charge to drive across town from from here in in, in Irving to Fort Worth to the stockyards will be different if I had to drive the same distance uh, in California. You're going to want to take in a little bit of insurance for your car, the price of your gasoline, the wear and tear in your car. Uh, another thing too is Okay, the cost of services that you do. All right, a friend of mine um, went there for a while. I owned a, a bowling center, uh, a bowling alley in southwest Oklahoma. And uh, I owned pro shops and other things other than outside of the photographic world. So uh, I have a friend that was in that uh, had a, a pro shop in Palm Springs, California, and I was, I was talking to Neil one day, and I, I asked him, I said, he asked me, he says, how much do you charge to do this service? And I told him, well, I charge $50. And he says, well, I charge $150. I said, nobody would pay $150 in southwest Oklahoma to do that. And he says, you're right. 
but the cost of doing business in California is three times what the cost of business doing in in Oklahoma is. So location, location, location. You have to consider the what it costs you to operate in whatever place you are in the country. You see these guys say, oh, charge $150, $250. Um, and they could be in Brussels. They could be in, in London. They could be in L.A. They could be in Honolulu. They could be in, uh, what's the word, Podunk, Arkansas. Is the cost of doing business the same in each of those locations? The answer to that question, is the, is the cost the same doing in all those locations? The answer is no. And it costs more to do business probably in London or L.A. or New York or Chicago than it does in southwest Oklahoma. So you need to consider that. And that's a few of the things that I wanted to bring up this week. Um, you see it all, all on the Internet. People say, well, what do you charge? What do you charge? How do you charge? What do you charge? There are calculators for that kind of thing. But a lot of that kind of stuff takes your actual input for what you want to do. You charge what you want to charge. I, I guarantee you $100, $200 is better than nothing. But um, does it pay the bills? Does it cover your rent? Does it cover your expenses? Um, some things is tax deductible. Uh, some things you're going to need to have an accountant for. It helps to go into business. You can write off some of the expenses uh, by doing so. And uh, it's very important, but um, put some thought into it when you go to give somebody a price. And um, the other things you're going to probably want to do is think about uh, when I bill you, what am I billing you for? And then have an itemized uh, statement of what you're billing them for. So the, that's the other thing, too, is when you not only bill somebody for something, you need to know exactly what kind of services they want. So what are they going to use the photographs that you're giving them for? Are they going to use them for flyers to, to, to hand out at a club? Are they going to use them for social media? Are they going to use them for billboards? Uh, are they going to use it for uh, uh, various other things for their EPK? Are they going to use it for that kind of stuff? So you need to know what they're going to do. And the charges that you charge are different depending on the situation and the usage they're going to do. So, if you found anything useful in this um, video, please uh, uh, go ahead and, and uh, like the video, subscribe. It helps us out a bunch. Uh, also, leave a comment. Tell us what you want to see. If you have any questions or anything at all, um, go ahead and do that. And we try to respond to it, uh, all our comments. Believe it or not, the other day, uh, I I pushed a button somewhere on uh, YouTube, and it blew me up with all kinds of comments that it, I never even saw. And I hunted all over for it. So I have gone through those comments, and uh, we've um, we started answering those. And uh, we're going to make some videos on some of the stuff that we actually found in those comments. So anyway, I appreciate it. Thanks for viewing, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>